On today's From the Install Bay, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on using your deck power to power a set of aftermarket tweeters and why you shouldn't be doing it. Stay tuned. So one of the things I've never understood is someone will go out and they'll buy a four channel amp and they'll put front speakers and rear speakers on it and then they'll go and buy a nice set of tweeters and use the deck power to power those tweeters. It makes no sense to me. Reality is, is you should just put them in parallel with the front speakers. They're gonna have crossovers on them. They're not gonna blow. They're gonna sound better. But you don't have to take my word for it. What I've set up on the bench is a demo to show my argument against it. So let's go take a look at it. So let's talk about what I got going on here. I have a Pioneer radio here that is playing a constant thousand hertz. I have this RCA is hooked up to the radio's deck power, and I have this RCA hooked up to the preamp level output of the radio. I also have a distortion detector, the DD1, hooked up to it so we can see where the radio clips. Now, you're going to be able to see it on the RTA, but I just wanted both so you get an idea here. My argument is this. If you use the 50 watts or 18 watts by 4 of deck power to power your tweeters, for one, you're going to underpower them. 18 watts is, is not enough to power a good set of tweeters. Two, the deck power is going to distort way before the preamp output is going to distort. Two, if you're like, I'll just limit the amount of volume I play so that I can not clip the deck, well then you're not going to get enough output voltage to go to your amplifier, so you're going to have to turn the gain on your amplifier way up, which is then going to introduce noise. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at deck power first. We have our test tone plane. We have signal. Let's start turning up the volume to get this bad boy to clip. Okay, bam. There's clip. There's no clip. And look at what happens on the RTA when the clip light comes on. It goes crazy, adding in all this distortion over here. So this is telling us that the max volume on deck power is 54. Now, if you'll notice over here, we're only getting 0.7 volts of output power through the RCA. That's it. That means we have to turn the gain on the amplifier way up, which means you run the risk of getting noise. So now let's see how far we can turn up the volume on the preamp side before it decides to go bad. Let's start turning up the volume knob. All right, so at 58, it starts to detect the signal. Remember, 54 on this was distortion. As we can see here, it's distorting. Let's keep going. So 62 is where this radio maxes out. We're getting 2.2 volts of output. The deck power is clipped beyond belief. It's just dying. And the radio still hasn't clipped. So this means this particular deck is a really nice deck in that it has an awesome preamp output. We're not getting, we can do max volume on the deck, get the most amount of voltage out of it, and no distortion at all. So if we leave those tweeters connected to the output power, and we want to get an awesome signal out to the amplifiers, what's going to happen is as we turn that up, this. Whatever this is, that's what those tweeters are going to start to play, which is going to make everything connected to this output sound bad as well, because these are just distorting and sounding terrible. So that's it, that's my argument against it. That's why you know, I strongly do not recommend running tweeters off deck power. It's a waste of time and it sounds bad. And not only that, you're trying to help your system by adding these tweeters, and as you can see, it could actually do more harm sonically than good. So just run them in parallel off the front, you know, front outputs and you'll be all good. Everyone will be happy, especially your tweeters right okay well cool well guys that brings this one to an end we hope you enjoyed it 
You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as usual. If you'd like to check us out live, we do Monday night Facebook Live, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can ask us all kinds of questions. We do a week in review and all that other fun stuff. It's a good time. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time. Bye.